Hi, my name is Dan Fleeman. I'm from Dig Deep Coaching and myself and my colleague Stephen Gallagher make up part of the performance team here at Canyon Tram Racing. The team have been using the core body sensors now for almost two years. Using the core sensor allows the team to measure the thermal um, strain that's placed upon the body and it's really interesting to see how each individual rider responds to this um, with the heat and it also allows us um, to make protocols for future races, especially the hot races in the summer like the Giro Donna. When some riders um, struggle with the heat more, we can make protocols so they're uh, adapted going into those races. And Core have recently developed um, a heat strain index which will individually um, give a score on how much exposure to the heat um, each rider has had. This will be uh, especially useful during stage races and long, uh, prolonged uh, periods of training so we can uh, see how much load is placed upon each rider and use that information to um, change how much recovery time, how much training they need in the coming um, days and weeks. This um, heat strain will make it easier for athletes to understand because it gives a basic quantifiable number. During race situation, the team uses the core body sensor in two ways. Um, first of all, on the hammerhead uh, computers that the team use, we have the live um, core temperature. The riders can use this just to keep track, track on their core temperature, and over time they know that they know um, get to know their body. They know when things are getting um, too hot and they can you know, try and cool down by drinking, for example. Um, and then also afterwards, the coaching staff can analyze this data and use this information to, um, we know when riders are getting into trouble and then maybe they need to change um, something they're training the heat, you know, to acclimatize to the heat. And we know which riders perform well in which um, condition. If a, if a rider starts to see their body temperatures rising up during a race, um, the first thing they can do is take on more fluids. That's um, a really good way to, to keep your core body temperature under control. And another way is you can um, just basically spray water on, the, on your body. So you could spray your arms, you could spray the back of the neck, you could spray the thighs, um, just to try and keep your core under control. But, I mean, it's better to um, be proactive on that and not, you don't want to wait until it's really high. You want to try and control it. And over time, the riders get to understand this and they can, they can see signs. So another advantage of using the core sensor is we can do specific protocols for heat training, um, combining the core sensor with the new um, core uh, suits. So, um, for example, in the, the lead up to the, the Giro Donna, which is generally very um, high temperatures, we can get the riders to do specific indoor training um, wearing the suit and we can give them um, targets of to get the body temperature up to a certain heat and, and ho hold it there for a, a certain amount of time to, to best uh, acclimatize to that heat. Using the core sensor alongside heart rate and power, we can be quite specific and see how each individual rider um, responds um, to the high, high temperatures.